All right. Thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset Era. Woohoo! Wahoo! All right. <laughs> We're bringing back Muse. Muse. Uh, you guys have been liking our Muse reactions, so we decided to continue on. I think the sentiment has been check <laughs> out specific live versions of stuff. Yeah. Uh, you guys have commented several times, not only on the Muse videos, but also on the community page uh, with the with the um, thread that we do every yep. once in a while when we're getting dry on our list a lot of you commented muse assassin live at mayon mayan mayan 2015 so we have found a video that has that description yeah. <laughs> it's not on their youtube channel it's from um, a kills fan your channel past. kills your past okay whatever uh video That's itself an interesting name it okay. has uh 460 Seven thousand views since 2015 when it was posted uh, let's look through some of these comments here in my opinion this is still the best performance of assassin and i bet all the there was 943 of you that agreed with that <laughs> yep, and 18 people that replied yes or 18 replies uh dom is such an underappreciated musician someone said Whomever Whoever mixed this, this sound is the perform in this performance is amazing. Seriously. A good sound man goes a long way. Yeah, Assassin remains to be the one of Dom's best performances on drums. Mm. Seriously, it will take you a while to play this song at a decent level. Hmm. Sounds pretty technical. Yeah, the first two, uh, Killer Be Killed and uh, what was Won't the Stand one? Down. Won't Stand Down. That you know, both of those songs. You know, I've only heard one or two other songs from Muse, and I know that. You know, they've dabbled in heavy territory in the past. That was like, wow. Yeah. I did not expect, I did not expect those songs to be that driving. You know, the, the, you know this is cool. Yeah. Some of this. You know, this is, is like, you know, this is like, yeah. Yeah. We're so, living there. Matt's guitar tones in this would be ludicrously cool by studio recording standards. For a live performance? Good God, man. <laughs> At 5.30, so are we just going to ignore this fantastic riff and tone? All in capital letters. <laughs> All right, I think we got to get into this. There are a lot of comments on the tone and the production, and it just sounds like a great video. Yeah, this is... All right, let's jump in. Yep. And welcome to the channel for anyone jumping in with us for the very jumping first time. Jumping in. I think at this point, we're ready to start a Muse playlist. I think uh, so, too. So once this gets uploaded, I will put it on a list. Yep. I am perfectly I am perfectly happy with making a Muse playlist. <laughs> yeah, so once you go through the playlist, um, make sure you comment on what we're missing. Yep. We'll, we'll do as many as you guys feel like watch, <laughs> and probably more. <laughs> yeah. All right, but if you're not new to the channel... You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for... The Glorious... Epic... Transition. <laughs> Whoops. Wait. Whoopsies. Don't push play yet. Nope. All right. Well, you already heard some clapping. You already heard some applause. Yep. We're in. <laughs> so we're we're in the audience. We're in the audience now. We're gonna check out Muse Assassin live at the Mayan. 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 2015. Here we. And 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 go and go. Whoa. Whoa, what a venue. That is a cool, that is so cool. Such a cool stage. What the? What? Is he playing that? Would they know a song from Black Holes now? Black Holes Malignant. Is he doing that? It sounds like it. Sounds like a. It sounds like a a, a boss battle on like D Double Dragon. <laughs> yeah, like oh shit. We didn't kill him. We just unlocked his second health bar. Oh no! This trips me out. Drum beat. 
That's such a cool groove. I'm loving this groove, it's so cool. Yeah. really interesting about how uh how far a hammer on can take you yeah because you, if you listen to this and break it down it's which is two notes yeah it's a hammer on one lower note to slamming onto a just simple hammer on some pull-offs yeah sometimes it's all you need to make something really cool yeah and then making it work like just going up and down the neck like that a couple times and the repetitiveness makes it heavy and yeah, groovy and at the same time. I get what they were saying about Dom on the drums. You know, he's doing some really cool stuff. Yeah. I love. I was saying before, I love, you know, that boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba. That's, I'm a sucker for those kinds of grooves where you just get the bass just bumping with the with the kick a couple of times. Yeah. It's one of those kind of groovy kind of beats that just gets everybody wanting to jump. Right. You know, just, you know, the kind of, you know, just get everybody jumping and. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. This is great so far. Yeah, the, the chorus had a really eerie effect, like, you know, between between the two different styles of vocals, like, mm -hmm. you know, the harmonies like that, the lower and the high, mm -hmm. you know, really, really, really kind of like ghostly. And what's insane about this when we were listening to it is also to realize that this is live. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane for Yeah, keep, a, keep that in mind, everybody. This is live. Yeah. <laughs> him on a guitar that's not the bass going on no that's, that's guitar. he's got a pitch he's shifter. Doing, yeah like an octave dropper or something oh yeah pitch shifter yeah. what an interesting dynamic that's gotta be a Whoa. lot of it sounds great with the actual bass behind it. 
You hear the actual bass? Yeah. Yeah. This is I'm really digging this dynamic because yeah. you know with the pitch shifting, the guitar's got like a it's it sounds really low, but you can you can really differentiate the two because it's got like a fuzz to it. It's got definitely a muff. I would imagine if this is a muffy like a kind muff. of fuzz to it, whereas the bass has I think that's a jazz. It is think, jazz. Yeah, it's jazz. So jazz can, style, at least. Yeah, jazz style with the pickups. Um, so you can you, you can really hear the growl. I think his bass is unaffected. I think so. As far as it I can sounds, tell. it sounds very clean. Yeah. You know, it's got a very clean, growly. He's got to kind of punch. Keep the clean because yeah, how because it, it really because because if you were to just add you know fuzz to the fuzz, well, you just get a big thing of fuzz. Yeah. You, you know, whereas with the fuzz up. in conjunction with the clean bass. Yeah. You know, you get a little bit more of you get a little bit more to those waves, you know. Yeah, more direction, I'd exactly. say. Exactly. And with the with the cool tom stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm really getting like the seventies stoner rock, yeah, you know, hard yeah. rock stuff. Like, yeah, I can see it. I, I can I can picture I can picture, you know, Black Sabbath listening to this <laughs> and being like, Did we do that? <laughs> 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 and it's like weird bend up here wow. oh that's cool Crunchy. His tone is so crunchy. Ooh, yeah, that was good. Oh, that good. that was the uh, that was the ending riff from five, at five thirty. There, that that one that that one comment was. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. With the with the jumping drum beat and, and that growling bass. Oh, that was so cool. A lot cool. of textures and tones in the guitar parts. So that was such a cool wall of sound. Yeah. For a three piece. They make a hell of a noise. On live? Yeah. Uh, you... That's not fair, man. Some people are just too good. What's going what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there's a reason they uh, call well, it they, the best. They've been I mean they've been doing this for years, so yeah. they've they've got it down pat and oh yeah. You know, like that that just and well with the with the sound. Oh my god. I loved it. Yeah. Very cool. Uh the groove at the end was kind of unexpected. That was, was so cool. Yeah, I was like with was that like, jump and drum beat. Oh, Nice. That was so cool. And I the love, tone shifting. I didn't. Expect I love that. that that bridge where he uh, where he does that pitch shift with yeah. the fuzz. Yeah. And you know the bass acting as as the clean low end and everything with the toms. Yeah. You know that's like that's like a sis, That's like that's like a sister song to Black Sabbath. <laughs> you know, I, I just sing Sabbath because they're like they're the they're the originators of Doom. Yeah. And that was like straight up doom right there. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> like they went so many places with the with the different hammer on notes and the and the different harmonies at the start to dropping it like that. Like, all right, Nate. Man, why didn't we check them out sooner? <laughs> this shit know. is cooking, man. Yeah. Well, we do have plenty more suggestions. Yes, that you guys we have do. So keep sending them our way, guys. <laughs> if, if it's as cool as this. 
Yeah. You know, send you know, send you know, some music videos, send live stuff, especially live stuff for sure. Definitely, definitely live stuff. Yeah, because there's they, especially if it's this, if it's stuff like this. Yeah. Oh my god! And that venue, the Mayan. Yeah, that was that's such a cool stage setup, and yeah, the that's, amphitheater, the, the architecture. Yeah, is amazing. It's like the stage. What is that? What do they call that? That st is stadium th seating? Is that what it is? Where mm -hmm. it goes up? I think so. Because there was like balconies. Yeah, I so, so it goes up, it goes like vertically. It's a very cool. We'll have to check a look at this uh, this venue just to see what. It's I think like. there's a couple other videos of them at the mine, like the, like in the side scrolling thing is yeah. Stockholm syndrome. Yep. Ooh, maybe yeah. add that to the list. We do have plenty, so let us know what you want to see, and yep. we'll pop it on. And in the meantime, we, we are, are Offset era. era. We are two thirds of Offset Era. <laughs> like the Muse, like Muse, we are also a three piece, but a uh, much different kind of music. Yes. If you're curious as to what the music is, we have an extensive playlist of all of our original music as well as it being available on all digital streaming platforms. That's right. We have a brand new EP in the works coming out in the spring with some tracks that are going to be on that new EP that are available to view and listen to in the playlist. Yeah. Uh, so you have to be curious about that or you want to check out our music as mentioned, check out our playlist, check out our original music yep. on, on all streaming platforms. Uh, and if you want to come see us live. We are going to be at Ollie's Pub Records and Beer Saturday, February 10th. With Hellfrost, Further Within, and Psychofluid. It's going to be a great show. Fair warning, though, it's going to be a bike night, so yeah. anticipate parking being a royal pain in the ass, to put it mildly. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to be worth it between the show at Ollie's Pub and the show at Rock'em Spirits and Times. So that's going to be 10 bands. Yes. So expect a lot of great noise. Yes. Uh, a lot of great times. And uh, potentially some yummy drinking. <laughs> so make well, sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you come Beer's out. good. Yeah. In moderation. Uh, exactly. If you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, don't drink. Yeah. You know, get there safe. Get home safe. You know, we're not looking for anybody to get hurt. And that is it for this video. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. And we will see you then. See you there. Peace out.